If you're looking for a show that's completely off the wall insane, and you often ask yourself, why am I even watching this thing? Then you're just like me. And the show you're looking for is Raised by Wolves. Raised by Wolves is an HBO Max exclusive that somehow has had a second season, which is still ongoing and I'm watching with my wife and we're having a freaking blast with it. It's such a bizarre experience and I honestly have nothing to compare it to. It's unlike anything I've ever watched before. And I'm not even here to tell you it's a good show. It's just an entertaining one. The IMDb synopsis of this is gold too. Androids are tasked with raising human children on a mysterious planet. I mean, it's fair. That's really all I could tell you about the show because it's so bonkers off the wall every episode. I believe this is produced by Ridley Scott. I know he directed a handful of season one episodes. There, there's been multiple directors on this thing. It's definitely got Ridley Scott's stamp all over it for better and for worse. You see some of the brilliant direction uh, that, that's akin to Alien uh, with some of the more horrific elements, but then you have layer upon layer of bullshit from Alien Covenant on top of it all. Yet it somehow kind of is intriguing in this uh, in this approach because it's a serialized show. There, there's multiple episodes. It really has time to flesh out all the lore going on and you can dig deep into this lore. There's a lot there. It's one of those shows where you really can dig into it and get out a lot more. I, I When we watched the last episode, which I think it was the fourth or fifth of season two so far, I turned to my wife and I said, man, I could actually see myself going back and watching season one again. And I know it would make a lot more sense and it would help elevate what's happening in season two. It's also one of those shows that if you don't remember anything from the first season, you're completely lost. When we fired up the second season, I had no idea what was happening anymore. I'm like, what, why? Why is that giant snake floating around? Why are these people here on this side of the planet now? I, I just couldn't remember for the life of me what happened. And saying there's a giant snake may seem like a spoiler, but honestly, there's so much bad shit stuff happening at any given moment that, that that's like inconsequential. Stunning, breathtaking visuals, uh, very awe-inspiring stuff. It will also have some sci-fi Battlestar Galactica-esque CG moments where it's incredibly fake, it's silly looking, but because of the style of the planet and just the world that's built, the universe that's built, it all kind of goes together. It's got like a C.S. Lewis vibe to it all, very surreal energy about it. The main protagonists of this show are androids, mother and father is the names they go by. They are the caregivers, the providers, the parents, of course, for kids on this new planet that they're trying to start up. They're trying to escape the different factions of atheism and the believers of soul that are taking shape. Uh, it's kind of like that South Park episode that I absolutely love. I believe it's a two-parter. Cartman freezes himself because he doesn't want to wait any longer for the Wii to come out. He ends up getting thawed out way in the future and there's all these different tribes of atheism um, that believe in different forms of science. It's a great premise because at the end of the day, there's a huge swath of people that need to believe in something, a higher power or, or some form that they can look at and say, this is the way. This is how we should be living our life. Whether it's a, a god in the sky or a multitude of gods uh, floating around or if it's science, uh, if it's a core concept. And that's what this show is really about. It's about these different factions of atheism and the believers in soul battling it out on this planet while these androids are just trying to keep their family safe. There's philosophy in this, religion, how far you will go for your faith. It's got everything and it's presented in this crazy way. I love it, I think it's great. So what kind of crazy stuff are you talking about, Adam? Well, how about robot lactation? Does that do anything for you? How about robot on digital projection intercourse? A giant flying robot snake. Detachable eyeballs that when ingested in a human body can give them superpowers. And on top of that, the crown jewel of them all, bad haircuts. Every single haircut on this show is an absolute atrocity, and I love it all. So if you're sick of the mundane, the humdrum, the boring paint-by-number storylines you've seen time and time again, I recommend giving Raised by Wolves a watch. It's so weird. It's so weird. If you've been watching the show, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I post movie and TV show content constantly every single week. Notification bell, hit that so these show up in your feed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.
completely unrelated. But if you like my commentary and some of my humor, you can find me doing a lot more of it on Twitch these days. That's right, I'm on Twitch at twitch.tv slash adamdoesmovies. You can find it in the link tree below in the comments. Uh, I'm playing random games, uh, making, making jokes, having some fun, and I would love if you joined me there. If you don't want to leave right now and check that out, there's other videos around. There's probably one next to me on one of these sides. We'll see. We'll see what happens.